every day, thousands of dogs are abandoned, released to the streets or dumped in the country to fend for themselves. Every day, thousands of dogs end up in shelters. There are lots of reasons people abandon their dogs. People move, they have babies, they realize their cute puppy grew up and isn't cute anymore. Or their canine companions grow old and their owners don't want the mess anymore. They abandon them. They let them go. The shelters do all they can to place them, to find them homes. But if they can't, This is where all the dogs end up. This is a 600 pound crematory unit. So that means 15 to 20 dogs a day are put in there and cremated. People often buy cute puppies from puppy mills. Puppy mills are large scale, often backyard dog breeding operations that sell puppies to pet stores and to unsuspecting buyers. Puppy mills operate for profit and have little regard for the health or well-being of the breeding dogs or the puppies they produce. This is the face of a puppy mill dog. She's a Cocker Spaniel, but you can't really tell. This is what they did to her body, her spirit, for profit. She had no voice, and still she has the capacity to love, to seek touch. These animals were used for profit, then they were disposed of dumped on a ranch with no thought for their ability to survive because they were no longer useful. We're almost certain that we had a puppy mill dump where somebody let loose 94 dogs. They were four to five year old dogs. The males were probably a little bit older. Some of the females were pregnant, some were not pregnant. We took in 62. The dogs that we took in were emaciated, they were dehydrated, I would say 50% of them had sarcoptic mange. They were all covered in fleas. They all had just matted hair and heat spots all over them. They had a lot of dermatitis and, and heat rashes that we put medicine on. But these were purebred dogs that were probably kept in deplorable conditions. They were probably kept in wire cages. When some of the dogs got out on grass, they didn't know how to act. They, they didn't like the grass. They would lift their little paws up because they, they really didn't know what it was. They hurt, they ache, they get lonely. They trust us to care for them. They have no voice if we don't. This little girl lived in a small cage her job was to produce as many puppies as possible with no way out. She had no choice. She was dumped to fend for herself while pregnant, no longer valued. While she has been rescued, thousands of others still live only to breed and make their owners profit. They do not receive love or touch, respect, dignity, health care, exercise, or freedom. What if dogs are angels sent from heaven to determine our character? How would we treat them if we knew this was so? It's up to us to stop the senseless production of puppies, the perception that dogs are disposable, and the countless senseless deaths that occur each and every day because of decisions that we make on their behalf. So what can we do? Don't support puppy mills. When you buy a puppy, only buy from reputable breeders. Don't buy online, over the phone, or sight unseen. Look at the surroundings. A reputable breeder will be happy to show you around, introduce you to mom and dad. A mass producer won't. Better yet, adopt a dog from your local shelter or rescue organization. There are thousands available, many purebred, who don't cost nearly as much. And they need you. Without you, thousands will be put to death every single day. We have to euthanize probably about 4,000 animals a year. Um, we receive over 8,000 um, from our town and rural areas. And this is where a lot of them end up. Fortunately, we do have um, the option of when an animal is euthanized or it dies here at our animal shelter, we do get to cremate them instead of just take them to the city landfill. 
And this is what happens when you don't have responsible pet ownership, when people let their dogs run around, and when people don't spay and neuter. Spay or neuter your pet. Don't be a backyard breeder. There are already too many and not enough homes for them all. 25% of the dogs in this shelter are purebred and no one's coming in here to get those dogs. They're gonna end up in here. Support legislation in your state to regulate the conditions that breeders must provide for their animals. Only through us will their lives be changed. Only through us will they find hope. No longer be silent. Stand up for them. He is important and she will love you for life. Help a shelter dog. Don't let them die. Contact your local shelter or rescue organization and let them come home. Stand up for them. Be their hope. Thank you.